The most important things in our refurbished chapel here at Family Theatre Productions are not our cool new faux stained glass windows. They're not our faux stone walls, our new floor, or shiny new pews. It's not even the statue. It's right here. We need a lectern to read the word of God and an altar to consecrate the Eucharist to bring Christ to the people. And once we've done that, those consecrated wafers, the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Christ live right here in this little box on this shelf beneath the San Damiano crucifix. It's called a tabernacle. And I'm gonna go find contractor Mike Harvey and learn more about it. Stay tuned. Hey Mike, I know a lot of work went into installing this tabernacle in our chapel. I shot some footage of you doing it. Yeah, you wanna take a look? All right. So Mike, the Lord is in there. Yeah. He really, really, really seriously is in there. Yes. Body, blood, soul, and divinity. Amen. The whole nine yards. Wow. What was it like putting this box here, knowing what it was gonna contain? Well, it was pretty special actually. The whole time you're thinking, you know, the master craftsman of the entire universe is humbling himself to be here with us present in this way and uh, so you really want to do your best work so that's what I was thinking of when I was doing this and this red light the tabernacle light the vigil light mm -hmm. that indicates that he's there right that's right uh, it's from the Jewish tradition of the eternal flame which is always lit next to the scrolls of, uh, of the Word of God. Every uh, shul has that. We got the Word of God, but we got something even more. Yes, he's we got himself here. Physically here. Wow. So when you come to church, a chapel, you spend time at the feet of the Lord. He's right here. So the Lord is here every day at Family Theater when we're just doing our ordinary work. That's right. So take some time out, an hour. Can't you spare an hour to be with me? Like in Gethsemane, he asked the apostles. So we need to think about that and come and spend some time with the Lord. He died for us. He loves us. He, he wants us to be with him. And so we just spend a little time with him and get to know him. Right here? In this old chapel. I don't know. I think we should start calling it this new chapel. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs>